everyone. Welcome to my speed draw. Appreciate you coming. Um, I'm Abigail, and this is my friend Sarah. Hi. She's here to sort of a, I guess, an audience surrogate. Ask me any questions she might, uh, she might have. So, we'll get a better. I'll get a better idea of, like what you might want to know. Um, so I guess we'll just jump into it. Sound good? Okay. All right. So this is based off a a picture I saw where it was really cool, like forest path thing which is why it's called forest path um i didn't have a better name for it so but it's like a tunnel of trees sort of thing i drawn the wrong layer several times in this <laughs> so be forewarned um i really wanted to focus on the values uh working on that first and then going in and uh painting everything later so you see i do the foreground first which is this dark color i want to make uh, darker up close and lighter far away so that's what this is um, and if I think about it um, I could have done like a gradient for the path from like uh, darker to lighter or even vice versa that might have been made a more interesting picture but you know next time I know for next time um, and there I forgot the color layer so hey that's okay improvements uh, are great yeah and this is just me figuring it out and like, like, oh, okay, that works. That's how this does. Um, yeah, this is just me uh, just figuring out the basics and I'll go in later with detail and stuff. I'm like, okay, now I know where everything is. I gotta figure out where the tree branches are and stuff. So. Well, you're doing a really good job. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Pat, pat. You're welcome, Abby. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's impasto. So, uh, Krita has a couple different cool different brushes. I decide on um, these this uh, rock brush for the pa the stones lining the path. Um, give me a second to work out how I want this to go. Um, yeah, make sure like smaller as they go closer to the light, they go smaller, and as they get closer to here, they're bigger. Um, that sort of thing. I think just gives it a shadow. Oh, I like the shadow. Yeah. So, uh, interesting thing about that brush, though, it needs to be whatever thing you have needs to be colored, uh, like beforehand. It doesn't, um, for whatever reason, doesn't like being. Uh, colored afterwards so yeah I would do the shadows there mm. with the airbrush tool instead because I like the airbrush tool it gives it a smoother finish I was doing beforehand so oh I like that yeah it's looking good yeah reminds me of walking at night with the trees and all that thank you I know it's not gonna end up looking like that but no, but it's still cool. Yeah. Um, I was going and making a couple tree branches and tree, trees in this one because I realized, oh, it's a little thick. So, <laughs> just going in and doing that. Um, and because these uh, front trees are so close, I was able to put in more detail at the back. And it looks horrible now, but I'm going to put leaves in later, so. Bear with me. You know, actually, it reminds me of uh, when I was living in Pennsylvania. Uh, we were renting a house there, for those of you who don't know. Um, and there was this big old acres of land. And there was this, we had a toboggan run um, down one of the hills. And it would, and it was a forest because of Pennsylvania, of course it is. Um, but it would just go down and down and down. And there were these trees that arched up, and it made me think of the cathedral, which is very cool. Mm, I like the brown. Yeah. Are they coming in with the. Uh, yeah, they're just gonna go with the leaves. So, this is a really another cool brush. Um, what is it called? I don't remember. It's like a stamp or something. Um, but it's just like this cool, like leafy texture. I use a lot for uh, bushes and stuff too. 
it's just very useful. And I'm trying to figure out the layers now, like trying to figure out how I want them to be. Um, just give me a second with this. It's gonna look awful for a bit. Yeah. And I oh, go in and fixing it up. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And I go in and color it and stuff afterwards. So any questions for me so far? Like No. Okay. I mean, it's looking great. You're I feel like I'm right in there with the trees. <laughs> nice. Oh here I go in with sheeting. Sheeting's important. Um getting some like some texture in. So it looks like a lot more realistic and not like these flat things, I guess. Also lower the opacity on my brush on the um, stamp, so it could make you can get more variation of shadows and make it look a lot more interesting. Hmm. Yeah, Your shadowing is really good. Thank you. Oh, this is me playing around with like trying to do like some fairy lights or something, but I don't like how it turned out. So, oh, looks pretty. Thank but you. Yeah. You gotta be Well, like, this just makes me think of, like, a, a hole or so, like, a pimple, you know? So I was like, it's no. what you're satisfied with. Yeah. But here we go with my little elf girl. Aww. Um, I'm gonna do the value studies in her, too. Try and, like, get that across until I'm happy with it. I'll just putz around with her. <laughs> it needs well, some sort of life. <laughs> it either had to be, like, an elf or, like... As a, some, a, some sort of life, you know? Mm hmm. Let me draw her a bunch. Uh, so cute because it looks like she's going to peek around the mm -hmm. tree. Yeah, I'm going to draw her face in a second. There it is. I realize that, that face is way too small. Uh, Now I'm drawing in the shadows and stuff. Getting rid of some texture there. I put a blur on her so she's not so visible. Or like, she's got this magic hiding her or something. But that's oh, fun. Okay. Anyways. Here I go in with the blur effects so I can blur the far burst away. And then Sort of like that, I guess. And oh, and some bushes too. Forgot about that. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I do all my shooting with like this black overlay thing. Um, I can show you later if you want, but um, just to make sort of like this. Black the black overlay thing works really well. I know they say like not to use it, not uh, it's doesn't work as well, but I think it works really well for my stuff and what I do. So any rules like they say are you can break them if you make them work for you. If you think that oh this looks good actually I like this so I'm gonna make it work for me. Um, let's talk, yeah, when people talk about color shadows and stuff, there's a lot of talk about like using purples or uh, complementary colors or opposing colors for stuff like um let's see uh say this green i think you would use like a pinkish purple for the coloring but um for the shading rather and people use that a lot um so yeah it's my piece it's very nice cool. i don't know if that's where you're going with but it looks very tailish thank you appreciate it well, um, that's all for today, so appreciate it, guys. Bye. Have a wonderful day.